March Madness officially tips off here in Central Indiana. Right now, the Circle City is buzzing with excitement. Now, the tournament kicks off with the first four today, played at Purdue's Mackey Arena and IU's Assembly Hall. They're starting later in the week than normal because of COVID protocols and testing. Our Ed Pointer tells you how this compares to previous years. The first four games usually start on a Tuesday and go to a Wednesday, but this year, since all of the games are being played in Indiana, they shifted some things around and all of the first four games are played today. It starts off with the first game at 510 with Texas Southern squaring off against Mount St. Mary's. Then Drake University and Wichita State play each other at 627. Appalachian State versus Norfolk State happens at 840. And the last game today is UCLA against Michigan State at 957. The main function of the adjusted schedule for the health is for the health and safety protocols for everyone involved. The late start gave the NCAA a bigger window to replace any teams that didn't meet testing protocols and now any team that has a positive test and can't compete, well, they're out and their opponent automatically moves on to the next round. It also gave more time for officials to figure out whether or not to allow fans to come to the games. That decision was made considering that Indiana's positivity rate is down. Had things not improved significantly in our nation and locally here over the last several weeks and months, I don't know that we would be having fans. Um, but the opportunity was what our membership wanted. It's what the local health officials were comfortable with. Uh, we're up to 25%. The capacity numbers, which I'll share tomorrow, are actually uh, far less than that in some venues in order to maintain physical distancing in those competition venues. While the teams will be in a controlled environment, Victory Field is set up as a playground of sorts with different activities for the teams to get some outdoor time. And there are plans for more activities and more outdoor things as the tournament progresses. The adjusted schedule also balances time away from campuses for these student athletes. There's also a library set up for them to print things out if they needed and to get help with their technology to do their schoolwork. In the newsroom, Eric Pointer, back to you in the studio. All right, Eric, thank you.